What's up riders? I'm back doing the ride home reviews. I know that I was gone last week and so didn't really catch get a chance to catch a film, but here I am back again. Um, and this week I watched Deadpool 2, which stars Ryan Reynolds, Marina Baccarin, Josh Brolin, and it's directed this time by David Leitch. And don't forget, subscribe on YouTube so you can see all the ride home reviews which I've done over the past year and a half are there um, like of some like me on Facebook and of course follow on Instagram all ride home reviews plus the anchor channel where I also do TV series reviews and um, and on iTunes um, where if you want to catch it on your favorite podcast uh, client there you go can catch it as a podcast as you ride around so there you go the synopsis of the movie Deadpool 2 obviously the sequel to Deadpool 1 um, in which this one's more as they call it fam it's more of a family movie which is about family and avenging family um, don't want to go into too many details there uh, I don't want to give away the plot in case you want to go see it in the theaters now and I do recommend seeing this in the theater of course um, uh, the special effects and the fighting scenes and so so on and so forth it's it's worth seeing in the theater anyway continuing on what I liked about it well um, it's it was uh, it was just this uh, I don't want to say it was as good as the first film um, the first film had a lot of it was a little snappier, of course. There was, you, you were getting introduced to the character, so on and so forth. So, um, all the puns, all the the you know the stuff that he does, uh, fourth wall breaks, you know, all the things that you expect. He continues on in this. So that there's no drop off there. Um, what I really liked was some of the characters they brought in from the Marvel universe. Some of them even just slight ones that <laughs> are just you know. Um, and so it's interesting to see that there that he's ingrained in this X-Men universe and it's really funny that way and some of the uh, some of the references were great um, you know if you catch them um, so that's what I really liked I liked uh, you know Josh Brolin as Cable he was a badass um, I was hoping to see a little bit more from him but at the same time there was a lot going on in this film a lot going on in this film and so um so yeah so it may have been a little bit difficult uh there were some slowdowns um you know the first film just seemed to have this high energy high octane boom 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 and it wasn't that long of a movie this one had a little bit of slowdowns and uh you know i know that the quip throughout the movie was lazy writing. I think there was a little bit of lazy writing in some of this, um, uh, but the humor is there, and you know some of your favorite characters from the first film are there. Although, I, I don't know, I, I I didn't really think that Depender really needed to be in this film, but I understand the comedic um, aspect of it. So, so yeah, um, I. I liked uh, the develop the, the more of the development between Deadpool and Colossus, and you know it was just there were some key things in there that I really liked. Although, um, like I said, it wasn't as snappy and as fluid um, as the first movie. Um, it just felt like there was a, a few slowdowns, and of course the music always there. But all in all, and with every Marvel film actually since Iron Man stay through the credits there's some extra scenes in there and they're they're really good um they're really worth it oh uh there's a time aspect to this that makes it even better so so deadpool 2 very entertaining once again like i said not as good as the first one as some won't ever be but um great characters in there and some funny stuff so if you enjoyed the first one you won't be supremely disappointed with you will, you will not be disappointed with this one so there you have it so go see it see it in the theaters there you have it don't forget subscribe on YouTube like like me on Facebook follow on Instagram at Ride Home Reviews alright next week solo a Star Wars story see you next time